Dr. Rhonda Boskell is a neurologist for the UCLA Comprehensive Menopause Care Program. Welcome, doctor. What happens in our brains during menopause? So our brains are affected by the loss of estrogen, just like it's, loss of estrogen is bad for skin, bone, vagina. Lo and behold, it's bad for the brain. And by that, we hear about brain fog. Those are the clinical symptoms. They include not being able to think of a word, that they include losing train of thought. There are these, these very discrete problems that occur and they undermine confidence. Women get to this certain stage in their life. They're 50, they're at the top of the careers, and then they're undercut with confidence because they have these focal problems. What it's not is it's not decreased IQ. The women are just as smart as they ever were. It's also not just because they're not sleeping. I agree, sleep is very good for cognition, not having it as bad, but it's more than that. Why is it more than that? Because we see it on neuroimaging. There are structural and functional changes in the brain that occur with menopause. So people, women who have been menopause for longer periods of time, over 10 years, versus shorter periods of time, less than five years, they have atrophy in areas of the brain. The bottom line is atrophy of areas of the brain are more when they've gone through menopause for a long period of time. Wow. Now what it's not, it's not whole brain atrophy. It's not global anything, and that's why it's all been missed, because it's cognitive domain-specific problems and it's regional brain problems, and this needs to be fixed.